Now for this first part, what I've done is I've sketched out the uniform lambda that we're given and we're asked to find out the center of mass then from this edge AE. And what I notice is because it's symmetrical, then the center of mass must lie on this axis of symmetry passing through the middle here. So I'm going to want to set up some axes first of all. You can set them up basically wherever you like, but I would suggest that uh, you go across this edge here. Okay, the edges ED and AE. So this will be my X axis and this will be my Y axis. So the center of mass then is going to be at this point somewhere along this line of symmetry through here. Well, we know it's going to be a distance of A units up, halfway up the 2A. So let's just say that it's somewhere here. It's going to be actually just right of the center of this rectangle because of the addition of this triangle on the end here. So I'm going to say it has coordinates X bar and then A. All right. So we've got to find X bar. Well, the first thing I'd want to do is work out the total mass, the combination of the mass of this area here and the area of the triangle. So I would start by saying let the mass per unit area, let's put per unit area, equal some constant, let's just call it M. So when it comes to the total mass, the total mass is going to be the area of the rectangle, which is going to be 2A times 4A, so in other words, 8A squared. And to that, I'm going to need to add the area of the triangle here. So that's half the base, half of 2A. Let's just put some working out down here. Half of the base, 2A, times the height here, which is A. And so this is giving me the total area. And that total area, we need to multiply by M. So if you work this out, we've got 8a squared here. This is another a squared, so we've got 9a squared m. So that's our total mass. Now we're going to take moments about this edge here, ae. So moments about the edge ae. And that means that we're looking at the moment of the total mass about AE and it's going to equal the sum of the individual moments of each of these shapes about AE. Now we're going to need the mass of each of these shapes. We've seen what they are. They're 8A squared and for the triangle it's going to be A squared. But we also need to mark on where their center of mass is going to be. So if we take the rectangle ABDE, center of mass is going to be in the middle, okay? Its coordinates are going to be 2A and then A units up, 2A from this end. As for the triangle, okay, it's going to be this distance here, 4a, but the center of mass, we should know, is always a third the way up, any median. So it's going to be the third the way up from this baseline here, along this edge here. So this distance from f to the dot here has to be a third a. All right, this is a result you should know. So that distance there, let's just mark it in with a dimension arrow. I hope you can see that, but that's going to be one third A. So we're back to the moments then. So we've got the total moment of the whole uniform lamina about A is going to be the mass 9A squared M, and it's going to be multiplied by this distance to the green dot here, x bar. And that's going to be equal to the moment of the 
rectangular lamina A, B, D, E. So its mass is going to be 2A times 4A, 8A squared, multiplied by M, the mass per unit area. And we need to multiply that by the distance back to the edge AE, which is 2A. So, got that. And then to that, we add the moment of the triangular lamina, BCD. We know its mass, it is A squared. Okay, so we've got A squared, should say times M though, that was its area, A squared, times M gives us its mass. And now we have to multiply it by this distance from A to the blue dot here. So it's going to be 4A plus a third A. So let's just put that in as 4A plus a third A. So there's our moments equation. And we just need to solve it now for x bar. Now I can see that there's an a squared m in each of these terms. So I could cancel that part out. Okay, so we'll take that out. And what else have we got? Well, we've just got 9x bar here. Let's just put that in 9x bar equals. And for this, we've got 8 times 2a. So we've got 16a. And then for this bit, 4a plus a third a. Well, that's 12 thirds plus another third. That's 13 thirds a. And what can we do next? Well, we can add these together. This is going to be 48 thirds plus another 13 thirds. So that's going to come to 61 thirds a. So therefore, 9x bar equals 61 thirds a. And then if I divide both sides by 9, I get x bar equals 61a over 9 threes, 27. There you go. And so that is the distance that the center of mass is from the edge AE. So we could just summarize. We could say, therefore, distance of center of mass. I haven't got much room here, so I'll just say center of mass like that from AE equals 61A over 27 then. Okay?